Hey, sixth graders. So you've unlocked the West Coast on Fire assignment. Let me show you how this one works. So uh, this image is really uh, amazing because it shows how long smoke lingers from these huge, horrible wildfires and how far they go. So here's a, a satellite image of the United States and you can see this wildfire smoke going all the way across the U.S. and into the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, so all these states and even all the way up to New York are seeing hazy skies because of the fires going on in California, Oregon, and Washington State. It's, it's crazy how far the smoke can go and how long it lingers. Um, so even if you're not in a location where you you can uh, get caught in the fire, look how much of the West Coast and our country, and even into the ocean, these arrows are pointing to smoke that's swirling around uh, with the winds in the ocean. The smoke is going to get you, and that's what we're experiencing right now. So you're going to read, uh, or studying disease, so you're going to look at how the smoke affects us, affects our bodies. And you're going to share your response in a Padlet. So when you click on the link, on uh, one of these links, it's going to take you to a web page where you can read about how this um, smoke affects our body. Now, for example, if you go to uh, the National Geographic, if it asks you for an email like this, Always put in your school email. Anything you're doing with school, make sure you are using your school email. And then click here to go back. Because um, the good news is you won't get emails from them because your school email is protected from spam. So you're going to read these and get some information. You can write it down in your notebook. You can sketch out uh, like what it does to the lungs and the body. You can sketch out particle size from uh, smoke. So use your notebooks to write down what you're learning. Uh, so you're going to read through these and, and learn. Like this one has information about who is most affected by the, the smoke particles. Um, and it shows you the health effects of the different types of hair, hair, <laughs> air quality, like good air quality, moderate, unhealthy for sensitive groups, unhealthy, very unhealthy, and hazardous, like it was in Oregon. And it gives you information about the levels uh, here of, of the particles, otherwise known as particulates, and the visibility and then recommended actions of what you should do. So this has great information. It's got the uh, what we've been doing, staying indoors, reducing activity, and uh, making sure we, we keep our the air in our homes and our schools safe and clean. Uh, and then you have what to know about wildfire smokes and COVID because that's that's what's going on right now. So you read those, you take down some notes, and then you're going to click on the following Padlet. Now here's how a Padlet works. Let me move my video. There's a plus over here, and then it turns into a pencil where you can add a post. You're going to add a post. Move this back. Now your post right now is anonymous because you haven't uh, you don't have an account if you want you can create an account with Padlet so I know who's um, posting and use your school Google account or you can just put your first name uh, last initial I'm gonna put the O for test one so that we know who you are so that should be your title if you don't have a Padlet account but then you can start writing here First, make a claim. So for example, if your claim is smoke from wildfires causes disease, then you need to provide evidence from these websites 
to back your claim. When smoke enters the lungs, and then you keep going, whatever you wrote down, um, if you sketched an image and, and you want to do something really fancy, take a picture of it, send the picture to your computer, and you can do that by uploading it to your Google Drive from your phone. Uh, and then you can click on here, and then, oh, that's the camera. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I don't want to do the camera. I want to do insert image. Oh, yeah, you can just click on the, nope, that's like the up arrow. Thank you. Uh, click on the up arrow, and then you can pick a file from your computer, find a picture, and add it up there. Uh, let's cancel that. And then your post is done. Now, don't click away from the post until you're done typing, because let me check and see if you can go back and edit. Oh, yes. Whew. You can still edit it. Uh, and if you have an account, it's easier to edit, because you can come back and still edit. But I think, let's see what happens when I close this. And if I go back, oh, well, I can still edit. Pretty cool. So, yeah. Uh, that's kind of neat. And if you read somebody else's post and you agree with it, you can write something like, that's what I learned from the website about particle size. You want to make a comment that uh, focuses on do you agree or disagree, uh, and what's your evidence. And your evidence is based on what you read on these websites, not your opinion, what is the facts that are being shared? And that's how you can complete this task. And this one won't get approved until I read your, your post and uh, tell you it's complete. That's when it'll get approved. All right, good luck.